Hi, uh, Adam here. This is the third part of a series that we've been showing about integrating IBM Watson into our instant applications and making them intelligent instant applications. So for this part of the demo, we've already talked about the chatbots. Um, we've created this, the first part was we actually created this uh, application which was for capturing information about job candidates coming in. So there was like their resume and, and so on. So what we want to do is we want to take this uh, application and we want to make it a little bit more intelligent. So we're going to use IBM Watson personality insights and integrate it with this application. And it's pretty easy. So the first thing you need to do is you need to create a uh, personality insights um, service on, on Watson. And then you're going to need to get, um, like you did with a chatbot, you're going to need to get your service credentials. So if you come into the service credentials over here, I won't click on this because you'll see mine, but you'll get the, the name and the password. That's all you really need. Um, it's then pretty easy. You can come back into the application and you can associate that with that um, AI, um, IBM Watson uh, credentials. So you're going to click add um, IBM Watson credentials. Um, you'll get You'll, be, you'll select it as the type of that. We'll have other ones in the future, but that's just for now. And again, you'll paste in your username, username slash ID and password in there. You can forget about the workspace ID for personality insights. It's, it's not needed. So that's all you need to do to connect your app to personality insights. The next thing we need to do is we actually need to add some fields in. So there are a couple of different fields. Text fields, so Personality Insights takes a bunch of text and analyzes it. So that text should be written by the user. So we've got the interview notes, that doesn't really count. What we're going to do is let's add a couple of other, um, couple of other fields. We'll add a new text item to this application. So this is how easy it is to customize the Buzzy app. So we'll just call this user um, text. And we'll click that this is relevant to personality profile. So that's great. Uh, the next option we have over here is we have um, a Twitter input. So this will go out and get a user's Twitter feed. Um, so I'll just put here Twitter feed, um, or just Twitter. And we'll make that relevant to personality profile as well. Now that will allow us to put the, the Twitter handle in of the user. So that's all well and good. There's one thing we've forgotten to do. So we're grabbing that information and making it available to personality insights, but we've got nowhere to to display it. So we'll just add another field in here called, um, we'll make it, uh, we'll just call it personality insights. And again, you can, um, you can customize these to whatever you want. Um, and this allows you, this is a visualization of um, the result that comes out of personality insights. We'll probably provide other ones in the future, but this is just the starting point. You can um, also define, obviously, whether these fields, so things like the Twitter field and that, um, we'll just collapse that. The user text as well will collapse that. So this is just an example um, um, which has got these two fields and again there could be more fields and we'll add in other features in the future to be able to grab um, the contents of documents as, as well. And we can use IBM um, document conversion services for that. So um, that's pretty much it. So we'll just move that up. Uh, we'll just click done over here. Um, so now we've, now we've got um, this personality insights, but at the moment we haven't got any um, data in here. So let's go in and let's add in um, Kelly Slater's, um, Slater's uh, Twitter account. So you can just click out of that, it will go and fetch it, or if you come back in again, you can just refresh that. And then if you just click refresh chart over here, once that data is grabbed, it will now give you Kelly Slater's personality insights. That's pretty cool. So um, that's as easy as it was to integrate in with Personality Insights. Now, if you remember, we, we didn't hide that from there. So now we can see here's Kelly Slater. He's waiting for interviews. His overall rating was five. Um, and then um, we can see his Personality Insight charts. Obviously, you'll need to drill into that to be able to see that. Now, if I went to Twitter and grabbed, let's say, um, um, Donald Trump, um, he seems to be uh, a common example uh, um, with with uh, with uh, IBM Watson, so you just grab his Twitter handle over there, um, and we can. Oops, I clicked the wrong button. Let's click. Um, anyway, so let's just come back into our application over here. We'll add a new candidate in called 
uh, Donald uh, Trump. Um, he's waiting for an interview, and um, at the moment we can't. Inter we've got to submit this first, and then we can come back in. Oops, uh, we can come back in over here and, and uh, enter his Twitter handle. So let's just put that. Oops, we'll do that. Real Donald Trump. Let's we'll click out of it. Um, that will go off and fetch his um, Twitter feed, and then if we uh, refresh it, there's Donald Trump's personality profile. So I'll leave you to try this yourself. Um, so now we can see over here we've got Donald Trump and we've got Kelly Slater. That's it. That's as easy as it was to integrate in Personality Insights. Again, um, there's other options in here. So if I had pasted in um, the text field, the user text, I could paste in text that that user had written and that will go into the Personality Insights as well because we included that in the application settings. Again, I mentioned we'll add in things like documents, so like the resume or other documents the user has written, we'll be able to analyze that as well. But that will, that's a good point to get, good place to get you started. So have fun and uh, look forward to hearing what you do with it. Thanks for watching.